Hi, I'm Ben Mankiewicz. Thanks for watching Turner Classic Movies. We are two weeks into 31 Days of Oscar, where we present only Academy Award winning and nominated films throughout February and the first three days of March, all in honor of the Academy Awards, airing live on February 24th on ABC. This year during primetime, we've been pairing movies together based on any number of factors. They could be linked by an actor, a director, a genre, a theme, or an Oscar category. We start tonight with two Oscar-winning epics, both directed by one of the signature filmmakers of his era, David Lean. Later tonight, we'll have The Bridge on the River Kwai from 1957, but first, from 1962, Lawrence of Arabia. Peter O'Toole plays British officer T.E. Lawrence, an army officer. He led the Arabs in their fight against the Turks during World War I. This was O'Toole's first leading role, only his fourth movie. Lean and producer Sam Spiegel's first choice for the lead was Marlon Brando, but Brando was committed to a remake of Mutiny on the Bounty. Lean was also impressed with the screen test of a young Albert Finney, who even started production on Lawrence. Eventually, though, Lean cast Peter O'Toole after being impressed with his performance in The Day They Robbed the Bank of England, released in 1960. Joining O'Toole and Lawrence of Arabia are some heavyweights, including Alec Guinness, who starred in Lean's previous picture, the movie we'll have next, The Bridge on the River Kwai, and Omar Sharif, who starred in Lean's next film, Dr. Zhivago. The cast also includes Anthony Quinn, Jose Ferrer, and Claude Rains. From Columbia, in 1962, a winner of seven Academy Awards, including Best Picture, this is David Lean's Lawrence of Arabia. Peter O'Toole always credited David Lean with giving him his education on the art of filmmaking in Lawrence of Arabia, saying, quote, the greatest influence on my life has been David Lean. Though he was forever grateful to his director, Peter O'Toole never accepted another role in a Lean film. Lean wanted O'Toole to play the lead in his next epic, Dr. Zhivago, but O'Toole did not want to commit to another grueling two-year shooting schedule and turn the part down. That decision caused a rift between actor and director that never really completely healed. Stick around because up next we have the movie Lean made before Lawrence of Arabia, another Best Picture Oscar winner, this time starring Alec Guinness and William Holden. Thank you.